a pale yellow sunrise over the Rocky Mountains. Only, they're not the Rocky Mountains you're thinking of. A small ski town with all the accommodations of the most famous resorts on Earth, yet you've probably never heard of it before. It's international, but with a strange comfort of home, like a childhood memory you can't quite bring into focus. For some reason, you instantly feel like you've been here before, and not in a been-there-done-that sort of way. It's fresh and new, yet instantly recognizable. Such is the strange wonder of Jasper, Canada, a town eternally small that offers some of the biggest outdoor attractions on Earth. The town of Jasper is set in, as you can see, in the middle of Jasper National Park. We're a population of about 4,700 people. The size of the town is what you get. It's uh, legislated that we stay this small, and it's a really friendly community, and that's what makes Jasper different. Yeah, the town has reached its maximum size. It's not going to get any bigger as part of uh, the planning of uh, uh, the national park is to keep the town site a certain size, which is the way the people that live here like it. I mean, we, we enjoy having people come from all over the world, but it's nice having that small town as well. It's a great little town. It's got a, as much as it's a really busting, or bustling tourist town, it's also got like a really good heart to the community as well. Um, I love it just because there's so much to do if you like doing the outdoor stuff. The size of Jasper is only one of the surprises that greet visitors to this mountainous and unique region. Nestled in the Canadian Rockies about four hours west of Edmonton, Alberta, along Canada Interstate 16, Jasper is in the very center of the national park that bears its name. While tourists tend to focus on Jasper during the summer, it isn't until the deep freeze of winter that the town and the area as a whole really reach their full potential. Nearby Marmot Basin Ski Resort acts as the crown on Jasper's proverbial head. At over 8,500 feet, it isn't the tallest resort around, but when it comes to the limited crowds and quality of snow, Marmot sets itself apart. Like famous ski resorts in Utah with their world's greatest snow, Marmot benefits from Rocky Mountain snowfall with the dry, soft powder that makes skiers clamor from lift to slope and back as quickly as possible. To the south, you have famous Banff, Canada, with its ski resorts bringing in hundreds of thousands of visitors per year. This helps to draw attention away from Marmot and to keep crowds to a minimum. Outside the resort, the national park sprawls for hundreds of miles, offering wildlife everywhere you look, as well as opportunities for snowshoeing and ice climbing. All of these activities can be found in other locales as well, though. Here in the heart of Canada, there are still more spectacular sites waiting to be discovered. If Marmot Basin is the winter crown of Jasper, then the jewel in that crown would be Moline Canyon. Fed by Moline Lake in the summer, the canyon is a river. When winter comes, the lake empties, however, leaving behind a slot canyon unlike anything else in the world, with frozen waterfalls, cascading icicles, and a path made of solid ice 12 to 15 feet thick. For men like Craig McCarthy, who leads tours into the canyon, this is a place so far outside the realm of normal winter hiking, it's almost impossible to describe. My office always has a good view, so I can't complain being able to work outside in the National Park year-round. It's kind of what brought me here. Once the hiking, skiing, or snowshoeing are done for the day, the Jasper adventure is still only just beginning, particularly in the month of January. Jasper in January started 20 years ago. 20 years ago, the town was really quiet in January and all the business people got together and said, what can we do to bring Jasper alive in January? And they came up with this concept of, let's create a festival. So Marmot Basin put on great discount ski lift tickets. All the restaurants in town put on special deals as the retail stores. And today it went from a seven day festival now to a 16 day festival and it just blossomed. From the nighttime events and ski opportunities to the frozen slot canyons and memorable views, Jasper has a little bit for every winter visitor, all wrapped up in a friendly bow. It's not readily familiar, while at the same time, warm and inviting, like a, like a cup of cocoa your grandma used to make. Such is Jasper, Canada. Off the beaten path for most people in the U.S., perennially small, full of the most distinctive adventure anywhere. It's like an international home, for the winter recreation warrior. Unlimited activities, but it's a really like, it's a, a happy, fun town. Everybody comes here to be on holidays and kind of enjoy themselves. So the, the attitude is always kind of positive and fun and upbeat and stuff. It's just the, uh, the wilderness here, I think is what makes Jasper National Park special. It's just very accessible wilderness. Everybody comes into town at night, you stay in town, you 
get to become part of the community so you end up being out in the restaurants and in the stores with all the people that live here so you just become part of us. From Jasper National Park in Western Canada, I'm Stephen Human for AYL.